Welcome back to the Bald Man Motors channel. In today's video, I'd like to go over the maintenance and mining costs of my 2006 E55 AMG that I have owned for the past three years. This will likely be different than some of the other videos out there as I paid less from A55 than some of the cleaner examples at the time and have had the maintenance costs associated when buying a cheaper example. So this video is not about how maintenance free a clean example is and more what I consider average mid mileage E55 maintenance costs to be. This is also less about saying what it will exactly cost every E55 owner, but more is offering my data to aggregate together with other owners data in your research to figure out what your cost could be. I like to call this process AMG maintenance weather forecasting, so adjust expectations accordingly as your results may vary. Keep in mind that these parts prices are from over the past few years, so parts costs may be a bit cheaper or more expensive by now, and the overall trend though I see is that they are cheaper. I don't mean for this video to portray negativity because I really do enjoy this car. I think the end is justified by the means here, so this piece isn't going anywhere. Just keeping it real. Right off the bat, the TLDR is this car has cost me $3,601, or about $100 a month in maintenance, and that also includes some performance mod costs. I paid $12,000 for this car at 122,000 miles, and I've put on about 10,000 miles since over the past 36 months. Please subscribe for more German car content. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think a lot of the maintenance I have had to do is because the last owner was much smarter than me and got out of this car before some common problems started occurring around the 120,000 miles as they seem to do on these AMGs. I was a sucker and I should have done a bit more research before buying, but hey, you live and learn, right? My hope is that the majority of issues have been sorted then and I may have a slightly cheaper maintenance bill moving forward, but who knows. Now for the breakdown. As this was my first AMG, I did invest in some tools that will not be a part of the maintenance cost today as I use them on my other AMGs, but if this is your only vehicle then you may need to add these in. This includes a $150 iCarSoft MB2 scanner that is great for scanning all the modules in the car and has been a really helpful tool and a $15 transmission dipstick tool. I have done all the labor myself, so of course that is a huge money saver when owning AMGs, so if you need to use a mechanic, then these prices will be much, much higher. Overall, I don't think this car's been too bad to work on on all the things that I'm about to list off, so take that for what it's worth. Let's start off with the aromatic suspension that is usually brought up when speaking about these cars. So far, I've spent $160 on a rear air spring and $170 on an air suspension compressor that resides up in the front driver's side wheel well in the front bumper area. These were both easy to replace with about two hours of labor to replace both. Of note, I purchased an air spring that did not include the external air storage tank and reused my old one, so I didn't have to remove that from the car and that saved a ton of time. This was done early on in my ownership of this car and has worked great since. Next is the engine cooling. The often failed intercooler pump had failed on my car and resulted in heat soak uh, deactivating the clutch supercharger after about two or three pulls. So I replaced it with a Bosch 010 upgrade unit for $116, which is also located up near the front bumper. I also had to replace a $73 upper radiator hose that broke at the plastic elbow that connects to a line that leads to the expansion tank. I nearly forgot, before that also came the radiator. It developed a crack that was inside the cooling intake hole as the engine air intakes strangely route through the radiator and created a coolant IV drip that my engine was sucking in. Luckily I caught this before any catastrophic engine damage could have occurred before it became too late and I replaced it with a $250 unit. The bad part about the leak was that it started to lose coolant a bit, but it was not noticeable from under the car or even the engine bay until I took off the intake tube and it was peppered with that dried white antifreeze dots all over and even had some coolant still sitting in the bottom of the tube. One fine day, the car started lacking throttle response when my wife was driving it, like mushy response and would barely rev or have any power at all. This turned out to be a $136 accelerator pedal as it has a module for the fly-by-wire throttle system. It was super easy to replace and has been fine ever since. Next came the $400 AMG specific oil line that goes from here at the top of the engine down to the oil cooler, again located in the front bumper. This was because I was an idiot. I didn't replace the motor mount soon enough and the engine movement stressed the now old and heat fatigued oil line. When these go, they spray oil all over the engine and leak here very close to this crimp here, so keep an eye on it. So naturally I then replaced the $100 engine and trans mounts and also the $120 starter while I was there. You have to remove one engine mount to take out the starter, so I replaced it then instead of waiting for that to go as well. For the other mount, I dropped the power steering rack partly and slid out that side. I think some guys also take the sway bar off as well to make it a bit easier. This was also a convenient time to change the oil. In total, I've spent about $150 on oil changes so far and it is due for another one soon. I also replaced the $180 alternator and both batteries, one $200 AGM battery in the trunk and one $100 auxiliary battery here under the hood. Speaking of hood, it cost me $25 for the new hood struts and then $45 for a new hood star after the old one snapped off. I replaced the tires with an $815 a set Michelin Pilot Sport All Seasons 4s as I plan to relocate later this year to a colder climate. They are rated as ultra high performance all season tires, but do not grip well in the dry as a sticky summer tire. They've been much better at hooking in the rain though, so that's been nice. 
Now let's move to the transmission. I spent about $100 on fluid and filter changes after it shifted into neutral one day while I was driving two years ago. Replacing the filter also firmed up the shift, so I suspect that it was being starved of fluid through the clogged filter. Luckily, it has been working fine so far since. I also replaced the $15 transmission TCU plug that is a common leak item while I was there. Air filters were about $30 replaced, and I have loaded up my own air filter spacers to raise the filter up a bit so they do not partially block the intake. Maybe it's placebo, but it feels like it has a little bit better throttle response, but is not noticeably faster from a butt dyno perspective. It was only about $20 in hardware and metals, and it was a fun project, so I think it was worth it. I replaced the headlight lenses with just the lenses from eBay for $60, and even after being ceramic coated, they have now started to yellow after about three years. I have also spent $20 in touch-up paint and $40 on ceramic coating. Lastly, I replaced the supercharger belt for $28, and I put a Race IQ tunes with pops and bangs for another $300. I also just received some supercharger oil that is about $20 a quart for this Mobile One jet engine oil, but I will be able to split it up and also use it on my C32 supercharger. So in total, this all adds up to a grand total of $3,601, which is $100.02 a month. But this does include normal consumables like oil and tires, as well as some mods like the ECU tune. So if we remove it to more of just the maintenance costs on this AMG, then it was $2,191, which averages out to about $55.55 a month. I personally don't think that's too much money for a car with this much horsepower and this many features, and especially when I stack it up against the amount of money that I straight up burn by paying my insurance bill every month. My car is not a beauty queen, and it gets driven hard, and I have thoroughly enjoyed owning it so far. I hope this gives a bit of perspective for any aspiring owners out there, and I hope you enjoy your ride as much as I do mine. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.